Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. We are back with another topic from astrology. <laughs> no, it's a non-astrological video today. Today's topic is 10 things on which we are losing money, which we need to stop immediately at the earliest or else we will be left without any money in sooner or later. No time in less than years or in a decade we will be wiped off of all our finances so what are some of the things which we are willingly as in hindi they say jaan booj ke <laughs> we are willingly wasting money on some some of these uh, i have made the list some of them are knowingly some of them are unknowingly but most of them are knowingly all right so let's directly jump into the topic. So what is the first thing that we are losing money on? Yes, eating outside. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's like a fashion. Why should you eat home cooked food, right? Uh, it's best if you order it from outside, from hotels. You know, you know, I'll tell you something. If you make a list, you know, Go to go to Excel and make a list where you do two things. Write two two columns. One is you know your grocery expense, the other one is your restaurant expense. Whenever you buy anything, you know, like vegetable or any other grocery item, write write it down the amount you write it there. And then there's another column where you write the restaurants. The problem is when it comes to food. The amounts are very small, you know. So if you are in India, for example, you eat outside maybe 200, 300 or if it's a nice place, then it will be like five, six, six hundred, or maybe even nice, then maybe 1,000 rupees. But the problem is, we think, oh, that's, kya uh, farak It's like four, 500 rupees. But if you keep making a note of every time you eat in a restaurant, just, just just do this. It's 1st of March. Yeah, I'm making this video. Just do this one thing. See how much by the end of 31st March. By the end of March 2023. How much money have you spent? I don't care. You make it in US dollar or Euro or Indian rupees. Just make it. And at the end when you see it. You will be shocked. You will get the shock of your life. Anytime when you are ordering anything from all this, you know, like Uber Eats, Swiggy, Zomato, just include that in the restaurant quota and then just see. So the best thing is to cook in your house, in your own home and eat. Okay, in the name of being busy in your career and office and all, all this nonsense, if you are not eating home cooked food, then... It, it will degrade your consciousness not only not only just that it will take away your money which is but natural which is very obvious but it will degrade your consciousness because as per the Vedic literatures the food the food that we eat has a subtle component also okay? which means you know the mentality of the person who is cooking the food that is also very important so if you always eat food from somebody who is cooking uh, for you uh, from a uh, from a business perspective then our mindset can also become very business minded which is not wrong necessarily but it can make us very selfish sometimes okay and that can reflect into our daily activities and within our relationships which can make us very unhappy so therefore best is to eat vegetarian food home cooked vegetarian food and best if you can Avoid onion garlic also, but at least whatever you are eating, cook in your home and eat. Okay. But again, make make the Excel file and see how much it comes to by end of March. Let's see. Okay. The second thing that we are very happily wasting money on is buying fancy cars. We'll see why do we buy all this? somebody can say yeah actually we like you know, we like a Mercedes, we like a BMW or we like a Audi or whatever but 99% of the times people buy this because they want to show that they belong to a particular status that's the reason 
that is the reason they want to make these purchases not because they are like you know obsessed with the car or the company but they want to show that they are somebody very special and that is an indication of low self esteem inferiority complex as we discussed in the yesterday's video <laughs> right so therefore if if you feel <clears throat> that you need to get a good car but the only purpose is that you want to gain some uh, some special feeling out of it you know some how do how do i say you get you get high when you when you see all those likes in facebook or you know, nowadays instagram or youtube or whatever then what happens is you become more and more dependent on people for all these things for that for, for the affirmation for you know, the pampering the patting on the back and then that creates a perpetual cycle so at least in the initial days you know if you are started working you are 22 23 uh, especially if you are in india then you know if you are into it or you know you are a doctor or lawyer or ca until the time you are 30 and you take a car i mean in my my sane knowledge it should not go more than two to three lakhs but but i know there are people who are less than 30 years old and they're buying cars of like you know 25 lakhs and that car is not by their own money it is like in their their father or mother has gifted them half the money and then half the other money they have taken loan or 20 percent they have taken and the rest is loan or you know their in-laws have gifted them something or you know they got some lottery or something like that. so please do not do it if you feel that you need something external to get value in your circle then first of all you you need to change your circle and if still it doesn't work then maybe you need to change yourself right so please do not do it what's the third thing fancy house Fancy house is like, you know, everybody knows, right? Everybody needs a home to stay. And there's nothing wrong in, you know, purchasing a house. Absolutely fine with that. But if your salary, especially like in India, if it is, you know, four, three, four, five, six lakhs rupees per year, or maybe even 10 lakhs, and you have taken a home, a 3 BHK home of, uh, 1.5 or 2 crores oh my god that that's like a disaster because you never know what happens when right you might move to another city you know if you take a small home then even if you don't stay you can rent it to somebody you know then that person can pay you the rent even if you go back to your you know native place or whatever some other city but suppose you you know buy a whatever 2 crore rupees one flat you know, which is like around 200 50,000 USD or something like that. And then the EMI of that is like, you know, I don't know, maybe sky high EMI, one, one and a half lakh rupees per month. I don't know. I'm just making a rough calculation. But will you get that much rent from that place? Most likely not. Certainly not. Okay. So then you have to keep paying the EMI from your pocket always. And sometimes people, they, they, in the main cities, they can either, either take a small house, uh, small, you know, one B, one BHK or even two BHK is fine, but not in a very posh locality. You know? So see that the loan that you take, you know, you can get it off in 10, 15 years, you know, or at max worst case 20 years. It should not be like a 40 year loan. Okay, you are you're just perpetuating in the cycle of loans. Okay, that's terrible actually. And again, why we are doing that? That is because we want some pat in the back, right? Okay, what is the next uh, thing in the list? It's, you know, luxury items. Mm -hmm. Luxury items. Things which we actually do not need. Now, of course, um, car and house also come under this only. It's not different. But this is, you know, like certainly clothes come under this you know like watches mobile laptop you know like uh, very 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 expensive <clears throat> now you can take expensive things if it is actually required so 
no if you are you know a youtuber and you need a good camera you can take it there's nothing wrong because that camera will give you a higher output later on in life okay so then that becomes like an investment it's not a liability <clears throat> but if you just take fancy gadgets and even if you 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 have your friends birthday relatives birthday or you know marriage anniversary or whatever or marriage or wedding ceremony and you give some luxurious gift like okay once in a while you know if the person is very close then then maybe it's okay but to show your to show off and to enter into that person's head for the rest of his life if you you know give some very high very 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 high fancy uh, some 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 gift you know then then what happens is uh, you have to do, keep doing it every time because if you do it once and then the next time you don't do it you know so suppose somebody's birthday is there and you go and give something very very expensive then what happens is the next next birthday they will again expect the same thing from you right then then again the next then he will tell to his close friends oh you know he gifted me this or she gifted me this so then they will also expect from you so then you are perpetuating yourself in the cycle never ending cycle actually so be a good friend give gifts to people nothing wrong with it give nice gifts but avoid the temptation of showing off just for the sake of getting into this person's head okay what is the next thing fancy travels <laughs> business class travels okay now what we need to do is whenever we are traveling then we need to see how much time are we spending in that and we should have an idea of our hourly rate you know what is hourly rate it's like imagine i was working for 4 hours then how much money could i have could have i earned or 1 hour or maybe 6 hours okay so now then what happens if your the amount of money that you need in business class if that that money is less than the amount of money that you can earn by working in those six hours in the flight then that's fine then you can go go in business class or first class then that's perfectly fine but if you feel oh no it's not that much you know i i my hourly rate is way 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 way, way less okay especially like in india if you are earning you know like 10 15 20 lakhs or even below that yearly i mean your hourly rates going to be much less than a business class trip travel okay i mean if you combine all the hours even then it will be much 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 less so in that case traveling in business class and all this doesn't make sense because we are just wasting uh, our money and we are not getting anything out of it so if you if you are like <laughs> if you are like a multi millionaire and your time is very precious you know like every minute is like you know people are dying to talk to you and people are like throwing checks at you <laughs> and you know you you or maybe you are a very famous writer and you know every day you are writing and your books are selling in millions and then you are like <clears throat> oh instead of going in economy why do i not travel in business class you know because then i get a nice table maybe i can write and then it's perfectly all right but for 99% of the people that's not the case so for such people we need to avoid actually okay now this is a new fashion in india i have seen number 6 fancy international trips yeah i mean when when i do consultations people always ask me Oh, sir, sal, sal mein ek do biz, uh, foreign trip le paenge ki nahi. So, if you are in India, you are interested to come to Paris, not for studying or for job, but for you know, family vacation. No, okay, you say, I want international trip. Okay, fine. Once in five years, I come to Europe. That is perfectly fine. It's okay. Or well, once in 10 years or once in five years. But every year you come to Europe, 
this year you come to switzerland next year you come to germany next year you come to uh, france and then the next year you go to uk then the next year you go to america okay, can you just believe how much money does it take even if you don't do it once a year even if you do it once in two three years it's it's horrendous the amount of money you have to shed just in flight tickets of international travel it's it's obnoxious it's unbelievable the amount of money that you have to spend and what is your return on investment what do you get at the end nothing oh, yeah you will see you know nice things i mean nothing against europe or america not nothing against uh, any country but if you are in uh, india or around southeast asia then there are so many places that that there also you can visit yeah, if you're coming for education or for job, then it's a separate thing. And even if you want to see some nice places in Europe, you come. That's also perfectly fine. But are you coming for the selfies? Are you coming for those photos? Are you coming for those likes? Then it's a disaster. Please do not do that. Because when you are in your 30, 20s, 30s and 40s, you will not feel much. But later on, when you reach your 50s, you will realize, oh my God, I'm left with no money. And then when you see, you will be like, wow, I could have saved so much money, right? Mm -hmm. Number seven, big fat weddings. Uh -huh -huh. Oh my God. <sighs> Needless to say, I think I can skip to the next topic, right? <clears throat> Inviting 5,000 people in your wedding. Mm. Booking the best place in your wedding now it's fine nothing wrong with inviting people you can invite but if you are inviting people so that you know people say oh kitna bada shadi tha hai, yaad reh gaya. i can never forget you know his marriage you know there are three thousand people five thousand people and you know per plate you know i, I i've seen people who are uh, getting married you know then they say okay in one plate Per person, the charge will be, you know, 1,000 rupees. And then why is it 1,000? Because they are spending like, you know, 25 items. Now, can a, can a normal person eat 25 items? Now, now you will say, oh, yeah, no, no, he will not eat 25, but he will eat maybe, you know, 18 items. But can a normal person eat 18 items? Is it possible? Okay, I can say up to 10, 12 items. Okay. Including dessert, 15 items. Somebody can say, oh, yeah, I can taste every item once. Perfectly fine. But does it make sense to add 45 items? Like in Guwahati, when I was a very small boy once, I saw there was one hotel, Hotel Brahmaputra Ashok. Now I think it's not there or I have not seen it this time. There was a, a very big fat Marwadi wedding. And then... I went and I started counting the number of items. It was around 125 plus, 125 plus items. And then after eating like, you know, 10 items after tasting them, I was completely full. And even my parents, you know, they ate, you know, like quite a bit. And then all of us had, you know, like diarrhea or acidity or something like this, you know, because we ate too much and nobody could eat anything. I, I, I was saying everybody was just like, oh, give me this, you know, give me some lassi, give me some rabadi, give me some jalebi, give me one this. I mean, it's just bare show of nothing else. You you do not need 125 items, okay? <laughs> so, you feed people nicely. Absolutely fine, but Maybe you don't need 30, 40 items. You know, maybe 10 or 12 or 15 items is good enough. Or maybe even 20. But 125 doesn't make sense, right? But there are people who do this. Oh my God, it's bizarre. Number eight, very important, especially in India. This happens all the time. Lending money to friends, family members, relatives without any serious discussion. Now, I'm not saying that if your 
relatives or friends or family members are in need of money then don't help them i'm not saying that that that's very animalistic that's asuric do not do it that is not what vedic culture is but suppose you know that a person maybe your friend is not interested in studies or doing, getting a job and then that person resigns from the job and he says mm, i'm i'm thinking to open my business you know oh because then i can sit and do nothing and all my employees will do the work right and then he calls you hey can i have you know uh, i'm collecting money actually you know uh, 10 lakh rupees you know i have 5 lakh my father mother is going to give me 2 lakhs what about you can you give me 1 lakh hmm? Now again, is it wrong to start one's business? Absolutely not wrong. It's perfectly fine. It's great, wonderful, out of the world. But if you are start, if your family member or friend or relative is starting a business to get rid of job and to think that he can never work a day in his life and make money, then my dear friend, you will not get back your money. At least not in this life. <laughs> you have to come. You both have to come the next lifetime, and then you have to get back money. And similarly, you know, somebody we know in your family, you know, if they are they are into intoxication, like smoking, drinking, or you know, womanizing, or you know, they are into drugs, or they are doing gambling and then losing away all their money, and then they call you and they try to blackmail you, and out of emotion, you give away your money. Ah, that money is not coming back, sir. Sorry, it's gone. Okay. So whenever you give money to relatives, friends or family members, give it with an assumption that you may never get this back. But that also does not mean that you just give your money away. Okay, That's not nice. Number nine, this is big. This is actually not doing anything but still losing money, which is inflation. So inflation means, so with so this uh, i have uh, something maybe what let me show you <laughs> i have i have this this flask maybe this costs you know 1000 rupees in indian currency today i don't know what's the price of this but after 5 years if i have to buy this for the same flask same characteristics same quality same size same material same Feature, same function, same behavior, same product. Maybe I have to pay 2,000 rupees. Because the inflation is like your money is becoming less and more, less and less uh, valuable every year. Okay. So after five years to buy this, I have to pay double the money. So if you are not investing your money, then you are actually losing money. So, an intelligent person should always make some calculated investments, take some amount of risks depending on your age, you know. You can either choose, you know, mutual funds or real estate or gold or, you know, you can invest in direct equity stocks if you're young and if you have a risk-taking ability, if you don't have responsibilities and if you don't have a very big sum of, you know, um, money which keeps going out from your pocket every month then you can make sensible investments and grow your money at your money should grow at least more than the rate of inflation in your country so in india you know inflation is around six to seven percent sometimes it's less sometimes it's more so your money should at least grow by eight to nine percent at the least and in my knowledge that is doable in so many places okay so you need to check out so many places you need to find out and then understand that if you are not investing your money, you are just losing it by doing nothing. Okay. By keeping it in your bank, savings account, 2-3% interest you may get. In India, in the West, even that is not possible. And the last one. Mm -hmm. This is like very silent, but you don't understand this. This is the interest which you pay on all the loans that you take to buy all this you know loan for car car loan home loan house loan business loan family loan personal loan oh my god how many loans so you may think oh yeah you know what's the big deal you know it's like i'm just paying off every year right or every day or every month credit card 
right? Credit card debt. But if you calculate the amount of interest, so if you take home loan, for example, if you have a home, if you have taken a home for two crores and you have paid, you know, 30 lakhs and the rest is on loan for 15, 20 years or 18 years. If you calculate the money that you will just pay on the interest, oh my God, it's life daunting. Sometimes the total purchase, I mean, the total amount of interest that you will pay is sometimes equal to or more than the principal. Yeah, it happens sometimes. If you take a very long loan, like 30, 40 years, the amount of interest that you will pay is more than your principal. Can you believe it? <laughs> wow. So you may think I'm buying a home for two crores, but actually it is four crores or maybe three crores because you are not buying it with your own money. You are buying it from the bank by using the bank's money and then the bank will give you uh, money not for free, right? They will charge you interest and then the rest is history, okay? So all these things that I mentioned, maybe you will need to do some of these things and gradually as your life improves, you know, more prominently in the 40s, 50s, 60s, you can do some of these things. But at least in the 20s and 30s, we should avoid most of them, okay? So for example, if you want to take a car, then... If you want to take a fancy car, then maybe you can take, but make sure you can try if it is second hand, then you need to pay less money. Okay. Or if it's a home, then you can start with one BHK, then two BHK, or you can see how it goes. But just don't take take a penthouse or a villa or whatever, you know, some very rich place. And stop this international travels uh, every year. Okay. Fancy birthday parties for kids doesn't make sense. Okay. Thank you very much for your patience. If you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is not able to save some money. <laughs> God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. And if you want an astrological consultation from me, my website is down in the description section. Thank you so much.